I am feasting from an enormous bowl of ah of beans. I poured bean juice on me. I am feasting on beans, and today we are uh, going to learn which dick. Dictator, are you? I'll go with am I? Dictator Tater. Do I go on zoo.com? Is Zoo the Gentleman's Magazine? Okay, if I had to make predictions in advance, I would say am I the Hitler because of my artist soul and my loathing of a good day's work, or Gaddafi because I'm a bit of a shapeshifter. You don't know quite what to think of me. Uh, am I smart, detailed, creative, or communicative? I'll go with creative. What is your best quality? I'll go with passion. It's feeling Hitlerish. I feel Hitler would have put both these answers. Ooh, God, this is tough. It has to be pride. Childish. Absolutely. Ha, ah, ha, ah, hot beans, hot beans. Mm. Oh, ah, mm. Terrible. Which role do you take when you're hanging out with friends? I I've never I've never met any anyone, so it's quite hard to uh, imagine this scenario. What kind of family would you want to come from? Oh, rich people probably. Which of these breakfast foods can you not get enough of? Cereal. Which lunch would you eat? Sushi. Which continent would you go for on vacation? Europe. Which country would you like to visit? I'd like to visit other parts of Germany. So maybe Germany. What would you do with some spare time and extra money? I'd probably try and write a religious text or something like that. I don't think I'm going to do that if I, uh, w without a bit of spare time. Which kind of dog is more your style? I loathe the entire species. I think they're disgusting and awful. But German Shepherd. Uh, which exotic pet would you get? Flamingo. Which of these do you hate the most? America, working, happiness, or working out? Blood, that's a good question. This is a question aimed at me. That's so tough. That's really tough. I'm gonna try and eat a single bean. I think it has to be working out. Clean shaven, clean shaven, absolutely. Uh, I mean, they all overlap, but probably history. I work. Monopoly. Invisibility. Definitely invisibility. I wouldn't even do that much with it. I'd just be in rooms where people don't know I'm in the room. I would love that. I think Hades in Hercules had good hair. Absolutely no idea what any of these people mean. How bad is my temper? Three. How often do you get angry? Once in a while. How do you usually express your anger? By yelling. <laughs> I yell. Which weapon would you use the most? Bombs, knives, poison, or guns? I feel some of these questions may be in awful taste. I don't like the idea of knives because I don't like the idea of touching my victim's blood. I mean, bombs are the most impersonal. I'd, I'd probably use guns the most, though, to be fair. You're a world leader and your people are revolting. What do you do? Kill them, lock them up in concentration camps, test chemical weapons on them, or kill their families. The most effective is obviously concentration camps. I think the others are just inviting foreign intervention, assuming you're not a nuclear power. You can spin concentration camps as, like, education facilities or hospitals. Be rich, control the world, never die, 100% obedience and respect from the people in my country. Oh, these are really hard questions. They really speak to my day-to-day -day concerns. I'll go with never die. Am I a Marxist, a nationalist, a Nazi, or a fascist? Well, it's tricky, isn't it? I'd probably say Marxist. Clearly, they've made a distinction between German Nazism and Italian fascism. Italian fascism, a bit too corporate for me. You know, I don't like, I don't like being run by corporate elites. And Nazism, I, I know this is going to be a controversial statement, but I think I think they were massive bastards. I'm a Marxist. Oh, well, common down say young general Wolf or chairman. Chairman, obviously. How do you think you'll die? Assassination. 100% assassination. I, th I told you I'd be Hitler. I told you I'd be Hitler. Hitler aims his hatred towards innocent people for no reason. Anyone who knows me personally will not be able to tell that description from a description of myself. In some ways, I'm a bit, I'm a bit guilty for getting Hitler, you know? Part of me would like someone a bit more, um, you know, convivial. A bit more of a convivial man. If you're an employer and you have discovered my YouTube channel, I I'm assuming by, by this point I've already lost the job. I'm omitting in public that I am Hitler. If the employer is still watching the video at this point, this must be a trippy experience for them. This must be a trippy experience for you, employer. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you watching. Please give me the job. I, I need it. To pull oneself up by one's bootstraps. There's something about the phrase always did bother me, and now I know why. You cannot 
pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You cannot lift yourself with your hands off the floor. Yeah, it is a weird phrase, isn't it? So it's from Baron Munchausen. Ah, he pulls himself out of a swamp by pulling on his own hair. Oh, what an amazing image this is. Look at this, this is fantastic. Good, good. I can't do this any more than a man can lift himself up by the bootstraps. And then James Joyce in Ulysses used it in its contemporary meaning. That's an amazing accomplishment by James Joyce. He genuinely got a phrase and reversed its meaning. Let's go James Joyce wearing boots. Yeah, I mean, those are more shoes than boots, really. Boots, etymology, from the Old Norse boote. I wonder if it has any overlap with the German word boot, as in das boot, et. Etymology? Mittel Niederdeutsch Boot. Mittel English Boot. From the old French Boot. So the French introduced one boot into English and the Germans introduced sort of another. Ah, is the word better related to the English word to for boot? Uh, yeah. Better, better. Better, better half, better half. Wife is first attested in 1570. That's an old phrase. Good, good, excellent, fine, valuable, desirable, favorable, beneficial, full, entire. Bean. Let's go. Bean. 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 He. Legume. Baun. Middle Dutch. Bone. Dutch. Boon. Old High German. Bona. German. Bone. The history of the saints. Etchings of a whaling cruise. Object of little worth. Google that. And uh, let's go into images. Uh, um, stop child abuse campaign. Do any of these images make you want to stop abusing children? Let's keep these little variables private, okay? She's got to be careful with that tea. As a man who's recently had a spillage with beans, that, that boiling liquid may end up on her leg. And then she won't be so happy. No, sir. Wistful with a bottle and a piece of paper. Shocked. Person pointing at self with thumbs. How do you know it's both her thumbs? Bit presumptuous, if you ask me. I just see the one thumb here. I mean, you could infer from this specific crease, I suppose, that her other arm is pointing back at herself with thumbs. Maybe you can use the reflection in her eye to infer the presence of a second thumb underneath. Or you have insider information, such as that the, the cameraman was pointing thumbs at her. It doesn't specify that it is her thumbs. Person pointing at self with thumbs, you can point at yourself with someone else's thumb. Interesting eyebrow. Interesting how this vein on her head kind of goes into the eyebrow and makes a sort of angle. It's an arrow pointing downward, and we've got to follow the arrow down here towards this picture of a woman, no doubt, pointing at herself with fingers. Stress housewife stock photos. She looks more like toothache than stress. I mean, that's quite, that's quite interesting. Look at them all go. It's a, um, a who's who of 1950s postcard chicks. These two next to each other really feel like they're on some sort of yin and yang. I might have to pause this video because I'm, I'm really, I worry that by the time I have said the things I wish to say, I will no longer have the beans at the temperature I need them to be to eat them. <laughs> uh. Put this image on a on an advert for the modern world. Who could possibly see this image and think that this wasn't themselves? This is everyone. This is everyone I know. This is everyone who's ever lived. This is who we are. Everyone alive and dead. I think in the 60s, women start to look like women nowadays. Like, that could be someone's back that I know. Some women with some books here. I'm a little read of them together. They're reading the, uh, the word loofah. Loofah, she's saying. I knew it! She's saying, my whole life I've always had an intimation of a word like that, and now I'm seeing it face to face. This woman eating a seashell. No, she's sneezing. Oh, there's a whole women sneezing subgenre on Google Images. Hot dog. Yes, get in. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Is this your idea of culture? Sneezing is, is really similar to faces of pure undiluted horror. Yeah, we got all these pictures of plebs sneezing. Easy to find that. But can we find pictures of famous people
sneezing YouTube compilations here. We got Justin Bieber sneezes all over the front row at his concert. All over the front row. Did he go chair to chair and make sure that everyone got a bit of the Bieb snoz? Maybe the audience came prepared with test tubes with which to catch Justin Bieber's DNA, knowing that he sneezes on his fans. Lady Gaga also sneezes a bit. Enough for a YouTube compilation at any rate. This is the ultimate Lady Gaga sneeze compilation, suggesting there are many lesser Lady Gaga sneeze compilations out there. There's Benedict Cumberbatch sneezing with sideburns. This is a man blowing snot out of his nose. I can't say I recognise this man. Tom Cruise sneezing there. Uh, there's Prince William, I believe sneezing. Pope, that's not a sneeze, he's just blowing his nose. Beyonce, again, just blowing her nose. That's good, whoever that is. Who's that? No one will ever know. Could be Rihanna. Is this Rihanna? <laughs> this woman? When I do not recognise a famous person, nine times out of ten, it is Rihanna. I really am so out of touch of celebrity culture. For all I know, this man is Rihanna. The expression she has there is the expression I have a lot in life. That is my expression to so much content. Could this be some sort of Kardashian? Yeah, that's that's um who's that? Could it be Rihanna? Is that Alex Jones? <laughs> Mick Jagger sneezing? Zui Dushlal? Zui Dushlal? Calling all sneezers. All sneezers? Yes, it's me, the Guardian. I'm here to call you. Yeah, makes you think seeing this many sneezes. Uh, uh, people sneezing with their eyes open. Ah, oh, no, no. Vintage boutique. Do I see a sneezing woman here? No, I do not. Not a bit of it. A P A P Rocky. A Sap Rocky. As soon as possible, Rocky. Has a good tailor. Knows where to get his where to get his clothes. He buys his clothes with wisdom. And foresight. I think this man is a rap man who spoke at Oxford. Yeah, this exists. I watched this years ago. 2015, six years ago. ASAP Rocky s says that Trump made Swedish prison situation a little bit worse. Could be right. People sneezing in the queue to whip a diff. Fenceless small man, and I get loads of graphs and PowerPoint presentations, and one picture of Guy de Maupassant, probably Guy de Maupassant, probably extremely famous French writer. Good eyes, those are novel writing eyes right there. Quite like this, this uh, kind of mustache, it's quite civilized. I quite like his quiffs on his hair as well. Uh. Guy de Maupassant was the ASAP Rocky of late um, 19th century Paris. And at some point in his life, he must have sneezed in a queue to whip a defenceless man. People sneezing in the uh, London Eye. She could be in the London Eye. This child, I think, is less likely to be in the London Eye. Same goes for this woman here. This, These two pictures have people with the London Eye in the background. However, they are not sneezing. The Hagia Sophia. They got that blue mosque in Istanbul as well. As well, featured prominently at, at the end of the Bill Douglas trilogy. Scottish, Scottish pleb life. It has a very moving uh, sequences in it. I, I mean, I've got an appointment after this. I, I, I should probably have stopped this video a long time ago. Blessings and peace upon everyone who has lived, is living, and who will live. Particularly those who uh, see this video. Thank you as especially. I am head over heels in love with you.